In Tyler, Texas, three constables served an eviction notice. They would clear the house of the residents, then do the following. Via the accidental activation of one of their body cams, the footage captures the constables stealing items from the house. Hold on. Hold on, don't come down here. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, we got some cocaine. Oh. Yeah, everything in here. Two. This can go from here. We set that box right. Yeah. We set that on that dresser. Yeah. What's this? Uh, a box. That is Chief Deputy Laquenda Banks appearing to put items belonging to the homeowners in her shirt. Huh? Oh, you got your... Oh, no, I was watching the other bag, too. So we can roll this out. Then she takes more valuables into her possession. You still still in here? You found something else? Glasses. Like they got everything in a good spot. Got it. This ain't like the daughter's room. Or, what you see? Yeah, I think that one. Right. The Oakley's up. They was and everything. Now, are they allowed to keep anything of value? Who? What's all this? Yeah. 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 Let's see what's in here. Oh. Ray Bans. Okay. Hold oh, up. What's in here? Yeah. <laughs> we done got hot. They can come in. <laughs> yeah. This is hot. <sighs> you ain't gonna need me to go rest. You need to go sit down and rest a little bit. Oh, yeah, I need to go sit down and rest. Yeah, go sit down and rest. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little, little fat over there. I'm trying to find a pocket. <laughs> Hat tip to the YouTube channel Lackluster for bringing this to our attention. The three constables were photographed here via the Tyler Morning Telegraph. They are from left to right. Smith County Precinct 1 Constable Curtis Trailer Harris. We'll have more on him in a moment. Precinct 1 Chief Deputy Laquenda Banks. And Precinct 1 Sergeant Derek Holman. In May, the trio entered a plea of not guilty 
through a waiver of arraignment and did not appear in court. They were arrested months prior, but bonded out of jail soon after their arrest on bonds totaling $30,000. How you doing, sir? Do you think I lied on uh, I definitely cannot. It's for my safety, okay? Uh, what do you got going on out here? What does it look like? You want to be a smartass? I mean, what does it look like? You want to be a smartass? It's called reckless burning if you want to, if you want to go that route. We can go ahead and push that route. Burning. Reckless burning when you're burning something outside of an authorized area. Wait a minute. Did he just say reckless burning for a couple small candles that are also burning on the non-flammable pavement? Do you really want to go that route? Do you really want to go that route? The light is for my safety. I don't know who you are. I don't know if you're a criminal who's going to try to pull a gun out on me or a knife or anything like that. That's what the light's for, okay? That's what they're there for. That's why they're put on patrol vehicles. What's your, what's your name? What's that? I need you to call your supervisor. And if this is bothering you, I'll put it out for you. I'd appreciate that. That's what my contact. I was just going to ask you nicely to do that, but since you want to be a smart ass and ask me what does it look like and talk to me like I'm dumb, I'm obviously going to push the other route. If that's, yeah. I mean, if that's really how you want to go with this. Would you like me to put that up? Is that bothering you? You want me to put it up? I'm telling you. Okay, I'll put it We're up. We're going to have to put it up, but we'll, let me get your ID. I'll put this up. What's your name again? Officer Mora. M O R I. Make sure you spell it right, okay? I don't need to spell that. So the man on the bench goes and blows out the candles while continuing to be accosted by the officer to identify himself. And at this point, it's important to note that this was a vigil site for the man's friend who just tragically passed away in a car crash earlier that same day per local media. Ray Sean Swaggerty Owens gathered near a bench off Industrial Way with others on the night of September 19th to mourn 26-year-old Celeste Williams, who died in a rollover car accident earlier in the day near the Longview location. He said the two were really close. I've known her since I was in diapers. Here's my question, right? What if you're some, I'm not saying you are, but what if you're some individual who's trying to hurt anybody? Okay. Not just an officer, but anybody. But I'm not. The light, I'm not saying you are, but I don't know that. Okay. Well, now you know. And that's what my lights are for. I still don't know that. Well... Now you know. So then the cops believe Swaggerty Owens is a threat and dangerous. You want to be rude? I'm going to be rude. How am I being rude? Because I told you. My eye to my eye. Hey, you need to relax. No, okay? I don't need to relax. Okay, amp yourself up if then. You if that's the route you want to go. Me, you can go ahead and head back to your vehicle. I'm, I'm not, not going to head back to my wrong. vehicle until you're identified. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. I'm not going to head back to my vehicle until okay, you're well, identified. Don't come over here pressing weight on me. Call your supervisor. I got somebody else coming oh, out. Don't worry. Tell them to pull up. Tell the whole force to pull up. I'm for not what? with it. The whole force for what? Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> I'm on whatever you want. You're being a little ridiculous you, right you now. You pulled up for being a dick. Have some condolences for somebody. Yeah, forget about that one, huh? Yeah. Do you feel tougher now by talking like that? Do you feel like you're this big bad guy or this big badass by talking like that? I am a badass, actually. Okay. But that ain't got nothing to do with what we, what we talking about. Nothing. Then we see the officer's backup roll into frame. I mean, I hope not. It's dark out here, so. You, you can run your headlights. You can do all that, but instead you want to push your little light bar. Want me to go get my light bar? That's, that's for our issue. Nah, I don't There's want no to hear all that. To he doesn't care. He wants to be you belligerent. Well, I turned it off. Because oh. I have mine on over here, so, I mean. Oh, thank you. That's common sense. Well, I could see you wanting to pay your respects to Katrina. Pretty awful. I mean, yeah. Well, what's the plan here? I'm gonna sit right here. Like I said, if you want the candles, if you want this lighter, if you I don't need to take anything. I simply you, ask what I you're mean, doing out here, right? You can go throw it away if you'd like to. Uh, you don't have to. I'll throw it away on my way out. But That'd I'm be appreciated. That'd be appreciated. I'm not asking you to leave. All right. Nobody's there's telling you to leave. No issue here. There's nothing, there's nothing I was simply issue. asking what you were doing out here. I see candles there, right? Like I'm doing out here. What would you be doing out here if your friend died? What would you be doing? I don't know who your friend is. I don't know about Why that. Everybody's my friend. Okay, well, so I don't know about that. Stupid. I'm a human being just like you. <laughs> okay. So you want to write me a ticket? Cool. I'm not writing you a ticket. Well, I was simply trying to I'm identify not, you. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not. Uh, you already done pissed me off. Okay. You already, you already took it too far. You still won't turn off your light. Like, I'm not going to turn off my light until right, I'm done here. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. If you ain't got nothing to say to me, I ain't got nothing to say to you.